Welcome folks, uh, now we are ready to do a piecewise simulation for the circuit shown in lab number 4. So uh, I will uh, load the uh, ORCID capture CIS and I will go to new project and I will call the project to be lab number 4 underscore maybe A and make sure that you choose piecewise analog mix AD. I'm gonna click OK and then I'm gonna make sure to create blank project I'll click OK so now I have the project uh, loaded so I'm gonna uh, start adding parts to the circuit so here we're gonna have two circuits what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the uh, uh, 3904 bipolar junction transistor uh, which is available in the eval library and I'm going to simulate the circuit and then I'm going to also find or build an, an equivalent circuit with the model for the transistor that will have a dependent source. Uh, let us start building the uh, bipolar junction transistor. So I'm going to start with the transistor. It should be under the eval lib over here. So I'm going to say Q2N3904. It's a very famous transistor. So we should have it under the EVA library. I'm going to click uh, OK on it. And I'm going to bring it over here. So and let's zoom in a little bit on it so you can see it. And this is the transistor. So this is the base. The one with the arrow is the emitter. And the other one going to be the uh, collector. Then I'm going to have three resistors. So I'm going to go to select R. And this is a resistor. So this is going to be the base resistor. And then I'm going to click on the letter R for rotate. This is going to be the uh, collector resistor. And that is going to be the emitter resistor. So I'm going to move the base resistor a little bit farther this way. I'm going to call it RB. And the value for RB is 47K. It's basically similar to the example we just did earlier in the previous video. And this here, R2, I'm going to change it to RC. And the collector resistor going to be 2.2K. And then I will have here I will have here the emitter and I'm going to call it RE and the value going to also be 2.2K and then I'm going to have uh, two voltage sources DC voltage sources so I will say VDC over here at the ports so I will have two voltage sources, the first one over here, and the second one is over here. So this is going to be 5 volts. And I'm going to connect 5 volts to the base, and all the way to the emitter, which also will be grounded. And then... Uh, this voltage source is going to be 10 volts and I'm going to connect this to the collector resistor and from the bottom we'll go to the emitter finally we need the ground so I'm going to select the ground here at the emitter so this is the circuit and now we're going to create a simulation we're going to do a bias point simulation so we're going to call it uh, SIM1. Again, you can give it any name you want it. I like to call my uh, simulation file names to be SIM1 for the first simulation, SIM2 for second simulation, and so forth. So uh, we're going to use only one simulation here. We will call it SIM1. I will create. So over here, I should have the general setting because I'm just doing bias points. So I will say apply. OK. And now we're going to simulate. 
once the simulation completed I will I would like to measure the currents so let me measure the currents so clearly here the current is 1.7 uh, milliamp so it's very close to the uh, simulated values that we have it's not exact but very similar and now I'm gonna show the voltage over here so those are the voltage values I have 6.25 here 3.76 here and 4.46 over here so this is the simulated values using the model of the transistor that we have obtained so now I wanted to simulate the same circuit using the dependent source and let's see how we can build the circuit so I'm gonna build the circuit on the same file so what I need is I will start with the transistor will model the transistor so the transistor will have a dependent current source that depends on the base current so there is two ways to find that which is basically we are looking for current control current source so one of them is you can come to the parts and use the letter F the letter F uh, basically gonna stand for a current control current source uh, that's one way to do it the other one is I will go to place I'll go under uh, B-Spice components and then I will look under source and then I will look under control devices and I can choose CCCS current control uh, current source so you go to place B-Spice components under source control devices and I'll choose current control current source I can do that or I can choose the uh, source name F under the analog library so I'm gonna do that here so this here gonna be the base current it's gonna sense the base current and then it need to multiply it by some scalar and this scalar gonna be 160 to give us the collector current so the collector current over here will be the same current over here and the base current over here will be the same as the one over there so and then the base and the collector will be tied together like that so now we gonna basically have a 0 0.7 volts voltage drop from the base to the emitter so I will model that with a DC voltage source and this voltage source will equal to 0 0.7 so now we know that this is the emitter it's 0 0.7 volts below the base this is the base and that's the collector so this collector is the same as this and this base is the same as this and the emitter is the same as that this is the equivalent circuit to this transistor and now we gonna basically have a similar resistor to the capacitor so I can do copy and paste so I'm gonna select this resistor I will do control C that's copy then I'll do control V that's a base and then we called it RC1 to be 2.2K I'll do the same with RE I'll do control C then control V so copy and paste basically uh, and then I'll do it with the base uh, resistor control C then control V and that is my base resistor and then I'm gonna bring this voltage source control C and then control V uh, then this 10 voltage source is connected over here and then it's connected at the bottom of the emitter and I'm gonna copy this 5 volts over here and then I'm gonna connect this 5 volts to the base resistor 
to the emitter let me lower this a little bit and let me increase that a little bit make it a little bit higher okay and then uh, finally I need the ground so I'm gonna select the ground here control C then control V so you can see that I like ORCAD a lot because of how I can use those shortcuts it's very easy to develop the schematic for the circuit what's important here is that this here is a dependent current source it's current control uh, current source so it will sense the current that comes in from the base through this source it will sense it this is our IB and then it will multiply it by 160 that's the gain uh, and that becomes the collector current IC so IC depends on whatever currents comes from here that's how we implemented the uh, current controlled current source now we are ready to simulate that so let's simulate the circuit again so let's see what we have here the voltage of the collector was 6.258 in the actual transistor uh, in the simulated circuit is 6.227 so it's very close the voltage at the base is 4.496 and here we have 4.447 uh, so the uh, voltage is very uh, also close the difference between this model and this uh, simulation is very close so you start to see that the simulated voltages are very close if we wanted to find the voltage here let me see if we can lower this maybe we can show it uh, so it show me uh, 3.796 at the emitter and that's what I have here is 3.768 it's very small error uh, between this model that we use to simulate the circuit and the actual circuit that is built in the lab now what you need to realize is when you build the circuit in the lab you will not get the same values as the simulated values the reason is this model over here is the deviation between the actual circuit and the model uh, has about 40% uh, or 30% uh, tolerance so when you build the circuit in the lab it's going to be very close to those values and you can see that the transistor was modeled here with a current controlled current source. I hope you like this video and thank you so much.